Why hello Pika people. This video is going to be a little more different than usual. I guess it's kind of going to explain what happened through the disappearances, what was going on in the previous time, and well, you know, that stuff. I'm not really fond of being serious and all that stuff, but I also do believe in transparency. So, I guess it's whatever. I may edit this to be a little dramatic to have some lightheartedness, but I'm probably gonna stay serious through and through. So, with all that said, I guess we should probably start right at the beginning, where it all started happening, which is the year of COVID. So, to give you background knowledge on my previous life, I was actually a pretty smart kid. I was constantly making honor rolls, had above average grade students, took advanced courses, and, well, you know, everything was pretty nice. And then, Corona hit. During the Corona period, I couldn't really do a lot. I don't know, it was just like this weird state of limbo. I attended the classes, but then I just sat there blank, just doing absolutely nothing, just wandering in my thoughts. And then, I think this was like the first time that Psych 11 was starting. I was just sitting in front of the screen, blankly, just thinking all of these negative things. Like, why aren't you working? Don't you know what you're doing? Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just like all these thoughts echoing. I am thinking, I should probably be working. And all of this. And yet, I just sat there. Stared there blankly. Lost in my thoughts. It was to a uh, kind of concerning degree. It was so bad to the point that they almost sent like one of those juvenile detention people to our house just wondering what was going on when my previous record was so nice. I really flopped that year too. I mean, I practically failed all my classes. And if not practically, I think I did. Which by the way, I had to be super thankful for those advanced classes. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to graduate on time like how I did. Well, I guess moving on to the next thing. This was like the first time I ever reached that state of that mental limbo of just constantly being lost, you know? Then when we fast forward two years later, then you can kind of notice it may have happened again. When I had the first time it kind of closed the street to personal issues, it kind of happened again. At the same time where Zach was nearly failing school and all this stuff, I guess because after that whole corona year, I just kind of became a slacker. I did the bare minimum, barely passing all my classes, yada yada yada, it was a fun time. And then it was like, all those negative thoughts kind of came back again. Like, I'm too hard. Are you letting your parents know? Can you just stop that? This is like, you feel lost in All circulating all over again, moment by moment. To be honest, I don't even remember how he even got over those moments. Which was kind of crazy because it wasn't too long ago when you think about it. And it's just kind of strange that it just happened again. To be honest, the cycle even continued like when I was making that smash video. When I said it was nearly done, it then kind of uploaded like 9 or 10 days later than it was supposed to be released. And it's just, you know, more thoughts about the future, college, yada yada yada, what I'm gonna do, and whatnot. <laughs> To be honest, now I feel like I've been mostly mentally stable for the most part. It's just other times in my life. It doesn't happen too often, but when it did, well, it's just, I can't put it into words. So I guess with all that said, I kind of conclude on what happened in the past. But don't worry, I'm perfectly mentally well now. And, well, for the most part in general. So I guess until then, See you next time.